former Russian State Duma deputy and now one of the Kremlin's political scientists, Vladimir Lepekin, sharply criticized Russian troops in the Kursk region, comparing them to chickens. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces look like a fox in a henhouse, while the Russian military is incapable of fighting back due to its microscopic brain. It feels like, so a fox broke into the enclosure where the chickens live. Well, that's the armed forces of Ukraine, so to speak, and the chickens are running around this enclosure, clucking, flapping their wings, but the fox is slowly devouring them. Because the chicken, due to its microscopic brain, is unable to fight back collectively against this very fox. That's the feeling. That is, there is no unified control system. He pounced with accusations. In this case, Major General of the Security Service of Ukraine, Director of the Security Sector Reform Agency, Viktor Yahun, noted that Russia decided to use conscripts because it is much cheaper than providing mobilized personnel. Russia has decided to use conscripts because it is much cheaper than providing an influx of new mobilizations. Firstly, the Russians do not want to announce an open mobilization, which continues on the basis of a decree signed by Putin earlier. They recruit about 30 to 40,000 people a month to meet their needs, filling certain gaps. However, this is clearly not enough to accumulate a striking force, let alone create strategic reserves or cover the situation in Kursk, which may develop in other border regions of the Russian Federation, Yahun said on the Espresso TV channel. According to the general, the Russians believe that there is no point in announcing mobilization if they can draft 300,000 conscripts every six months, and this will be enough. This is to our advantage, as we understand the risks associated with conscripts. Their deaths evoke completely different emotions than those of professional soldiers. In addition, when Putin came to power, he promised to ensure high security of the state without relying on conscripts. He has always personally intervened in issues related to conscripts, and it was a taboo for him. But in the current situation, we see a completely different approach, said Yahun. A missile was fired at the Kafkaz port in the Krasnodar region of Russia. Telegram channels reported on this. The Conroe Trader Ferry, loaded with oil tankers, exploded and sank as a result of a strike by a Ukrainian Neptune missile. The fate of 15 crew members is unknown. Planet Labs images from August 23, obtained by Schema, show the destroyed ferry and several small nearby ships that may also have been damaged by the strike. Let us recall that on the afternoon of August 22, the Ukrainian military launched a powerful attack on the port of Kafkaz. It was reported that the ferry Conroe Trader, loaded with fuel tanks, caught fire. Then the media reported that the occupier's ferry sank, and social media reported that at the time of the attack, there were 30 fuel tanks on the ferry. To put out the powerful fire, the Russians brought in a fire train. It was later reported that the Conroe Trader Ferry was likely hit by a Ukrainian missile, possibly a Neptune. Ascent analysts claim that the hit Conroe Trader was the only large ferry still operating between the occupied city of Kerch and Russia. Ukrainian Navy has officially confirmed the destruction of the Russian ferry Conroe Trader in the port of Kavkaz in the Krasnodar territory of the Russian Federation. Spokesman of the Ukrainian Navy, Captain 3rd rank Dmitry Pletenchuk said that this should reduce the potential of the Russian occupiers in those locations where they are conducting active military operations. The Navy representative did not specify what exactly hit the Conroe trader. We can confirm that the target was destroyed by the Navy. Without going into detail, I can note that this ferry is one of the important chains of Russian military logistics for supplying the occupation forces. First of all, fuel and lubricants, but, in addition, it was transporting weapons, of course. Therefore, this is a completely legitimate target, Pletenchuk said. Ukraine Security Service, jointly with Special Operations Forces, 
carried out a drone attack on warehouses where fuel and KAB bombs are stored at the Marinovka military airfield in Russia's Volgograd region. New footage from the area captured by local residents has been distributed on Telegram channels. Following G-Strike, a series of explosions and fire occurred. It should be noted that dozens of Su-24 and Su-34 bombers, as well as Su-24 Mr. Reconnaissance aircraft are located at the airfield. These planes are used to attack Ukrainian cities. Вот это 